Violent crime is rare in Biltmore Village, so this afternoon folks working at area businesses were shaken up, especially those who saw the shootings happen. News 13's Ashley Searles continues our team coverage from Biltmore Village. And Ashley, it happened on a pretty crowded spot there. That's right, Darcel. It actually happened right on the street, right over here. And you can actually pan around a little bit, and you can see that there are five, six, maybe even a dozen businesses within feet of here that have a lot of reason to be thankful tonight. I heard something go bam, bam. And I thought a car backfired. I'm going to be nosy. I'm going to stand outside and smoke a cigarette. You're a little shaggy, ain't you? Yeah, the sides are getting pretty brutal. Just hours after it happened, the men at Biltmore Plaza Barber Shop were watching their own neck of the woods on the news. It's amazing because you'd think this would be the last place in the world that would ever have anything like that happen. Business kept right on buzzing here through the afternoon. Yeah, two people got shot in the face just right outside the shop. Next door, the guys say the ladies' shop closed up, scared to stay open. Our building was in lockdown. I was able to slip in before Joe went home for the day. That sounds good. On the opposite side of the street, staff at the cantina saw the shooting too. The guy fell out the car and started screaming, help me, help me. Businesses here are stunned with folks we spoke to saying even at night, violent crime isn't something you think about. Didn't really realize what was going on and a drive-by shooting is the last thing that goes through your mind. Police say a car pulled up and someone inside fired shots into a second vehicle. It had like rims and stuff on it. On the street right outside the barber shop's front window. Pretty wild stuff. But coming up on closing time with the suspect still at large, business as usual here, even on the most unusual day in years. Now, it appeared that most shops actually did stay open this afternoon after the incident, but of course, an uncomfortable afternoon doing business against the backdrop of yellow caution tape and squad cars. Reporting live tonight in Biltmore Village, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.